New England Living is brought to you by Clark, Sub-Zero, and Wolf, and Kohler Signature Store by Supply New England. And of course, please stop into the all-new Seven Tide in the Seaport District in Boston. On this episode of New England Living, the theme to the house is a little bit nautical. I used to live on boats. And you grow up around the water around here, and you're on the water all the time. It's what people do. We are coming up to Polk State Park. I can't believe how close you guys are to it. That's we're, excellent. We're going to move on to a butternut squash bisque. Sounds beautiful. And yummy. Oh, um, those colors look like they put it well together. for autumn. Well That's done. Fantastic. So good. Welcome to New England Living, I'm Parker Kelly. And I am passionate about art, architecture, and design. I also love to travel, meet new people, and I'm definitely a foodie. Join me each week as I travel all over this beautiful region, showcasing the most spectacular homes and meeting the key players involved in creating them. To top it off, I'll cook up some delicious dish with a chef, and we'll finish it off with a celebration of it all. I'm Parker Kelly, and this is New England Living. Today I'm on my way to Bristol, Rhode Island, a quintessential coastal New England town with a population of about 23,000. Bristol is located on a 10 square mile peninsula between Narragansett Bay and Mount Hope Bay. Since the 17th century, shipbuilding and sailing have played a major role here and still do today. Bristol has a commitment to preservation and celebration. The town center is listed on the National Register of Historic Places, and Bristol boasts the oldest continually running 4th of July celebration in America. I'm on my way to meet homeowners Maria and Charlie. Charlie is a businessman with a lifelong passion for sailing. Maria is a retired school teacher who's turned her sights toward painting, writing, and traveling. The home which sits on the top of a hill overlooking Narragansett Bay, is a shingle-style nautical bungalow, fondly named Penn March by the homeowners, after an ancient town in Brittany, France, where Charlie sailed as a youth. I'm going to meet the homeowners, take a tour of this modern-day bungalow, and then Maria and Charlie are going to turn their magnificent kitchen over to a chef and me. We're gonna cook up a dinner party and celebrate New England living in Bristol. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I am Parker. Hi, I'm Maria. Maria. Hi, Parker. I'm Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Nice, nice, to, meet nice to meet you guys. Welcome. Please come in. Wow, the ornamental grass in the entry is stunning. Oh, thank you. Stunning. So um, who's going to show me around first? Well, why don't I take you around the hallway and show you a little bit about the uh, entrance to the house and then turn okay. over to Maria. Okay, beautiful. Okay. So the, um, uh, the theme to the house is a little bit nautical. I used to live on boats, so our architect designed the house around uh, the feel of a boat. And we decorated the, uh, the hallway with charts. Um, so these two charts are of uh, trips I did across the Atlantic, that one to France and that one to Norway. Okay, across the Atlantic. Yeah. So, across the Atlantic. So I used them as I would plot my daily positions um, in, uh, in pencil. Beautiful. And uh, up here are charts of places I haven't been to yet, so they remind me of things I still have to do. Yes, your bucket list continues, <laughs> yes? We uh, tried to use as many local people as we could in the construction of the house, so this is a, um, a light that was designed and built in Tiverton by a company called Metalworks. Oh wow, look at that. What a design. Again, the architect, using a naval theme, tried to evoke a, a lighthouse up there, and we have a Fresnel lens in the top, so when it lights up, it feels like we're lighting up Narragansett Bay. Oh, that's beautiful. Can we go out there? Oh, absolutely. This is all Connecticut uh, fieldstone, bluestone that hasn't been heat tempered, so it's, it's rough original bluestone. We tried to keep everything as natural as we could. Yes. It just calls to you on your boat, right? Yeah. <laughs> it, it makes me want to be out there. I bet. I imagine. It makes me want to be out there as well. Yeah. Such a comfortable, beautiful home. And uh, Maria. Oh, hi. <laughs> so this is my zone. And I say that for two reasons. Number one, I probably spend the most time here in the kitchen. Okay. And number two, when we were designing the house, I probably had the most influence, I would say, on, on this room. I went to the uh, quarry to pick out soapstone that, in particular, I oh, love the, the veining. veining. I'm 
Yes. So I was going to say yes. that. I love so the veining. We went with local craftsmen whenever we could. So this is actually hand hammered. Is that from the same place in Tiverton? It is. Yes, just the, right. The Metal Charlie works. told me about the um, the light on the entryway. Just right. That the is same gorgeous. people uh, in Tiverton. That, that looks worn in certain areas intentionally. It has that yes. um, older feel. Now we're going to go into our master bedroom area. Come on in. It's a really pretty landing. Oh, wow. I would say my favorite thing about this area yes. is the 4th of July. All of the cities and towns have a simultaneous fireworks display. Seriously? Yes. So I can sit out here uh, <laughs> and... Oh, wow. And what a commanding view. And anyway, I, and I but can, now you and have I can, all the fireworks. I can watch the fireworks <laughs> without having to leave my home. <laughs> and, and deal with the crowds. That's perfect. And deal with the crowds and the really, really loud noises. So we can go this way. And this is our master bedroom. Oh. Talk uh, about tropical with all the plants in it, too. Wow, look at this. So look good. at these bedposts. It's a substantial web. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you have a stool to get on there? No, I would take a running leap. That's, that's how that happens. Too. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> this is what I love about your home. Your mm. spaces, I mean, they're all um, cohesive and yet they're different. So one of my hobbies, now that I've retired from teaching, yes. <laughs> is uh, to paint. This is Summer Squall over Mackerel Cove. I love but, it. So there's the Summer Squall right you. there. Yes, so that's the Summer Squall. Uh, <laughs> Beautiful. So you think it was the retiring, or do you think it was the space that was so inspiring? No, I think it's probably the space, yeah. actually. I love light. I love the natural sunlight. I, I find that inspirational. The views out the window. How can you not oh, be happy in a home that's so light and airy and spacious? Incredible. Coming up. This campus here was where uh, eight of the America's Cup defenders were built. So that's um, no little uh, feat right there. I keep saying it again and again, it's, it's a boat. I mean, it's, it's a boat that doesn't get out in the ocean, an old beautiful boat. Clark, New England's official Sub-Zero and Wolf showroom and test kitchen offers three reasons to begin your project here. Explore the world's finest appliances. Then cook and taste Wolf's culinary perfection. Be inspired by innovative design. Do you crave extraordinary? Visit ClarkLiving.com to plan your visit. Technology is becoming a must-have for most areas of our homes, so it's important to get familiar with what your options are. Add a touchless kitchen faucet as an affordable solution to help you get on track. Consult with a Kohler specialist to explore all the possibilities to make your home work for you. This tip is brought to you by Kohler Signature Store by Supply New England. With eight generations of exquisite craftsmanship, Kumar brings a whole new meaning to passion and precision. Their treasures come from remote corners of the earth, traveling across many oceans. The Kubi family brings to the United States the largest selection of exotic stones. Kumar, when only the finest will do. From the moment you see it, commands your respect. You can feel its immense power. The only way to master it is to venture inside. Go ahead, dive in. The GMC Sierra. We are professional grade. Maria is actively involved with the Harrisoff Museum. She's on the board and an ardent supporter. Maria introduced me to its president and executive director, Bill Lynn, and we were able to chat about sailing, the museum, and its mission. 
So I'm in the Hall of Boats with Bill Lynn. He's the executive director here. And um, for those who don't really know a lot about sailing or don't know, know a lot about the, the history of sailing here in Bristol, can you give us a kind of an overview? Well, this is sort of the cradle of civilization from a, a yacht design and, and construction perspective. In 1878, this is where it all started with uh, the Harrisoff brothers and the Harrisoff Manufacturing Company. What you see here is stories about feats in engineering and innovation that were these guys were w way ahead of their time in the 1890s they got involved in the America's Cup and this campus here was where uh, eight of the next um, America's Cup defenders were built. So that's um, no little uh, feat right there. No it's not. 40 to years of America's Cup dominance from this little campus right here in Bristol on the edge of Narragansett Bay. Pretty Un nice. Unbelievable. Now what makes it such a sailing community? I mean Charlie's sailed locally, but he's also sailed transatlantically. And around the world, yeah. yeah so yeah. this develops a lot of great sailors and passion. Tell me why. I mean, you grow up around the water around here, and you're on the water all the time. I mean, it's what you, it's what people do. I mean, you can't get away from it. It's right outside your front door in the Narragansett Bay. It is a sailor's playground. It's a pretty predictable sea breeze in Narragansett Bay. It blows hard here in Bristol. I mean, it, it's windy in Newport, but here in Bristol it's even windier. It blows 20 like every day here, so it's pretty nice. Beautiful. Okay, well, come visit, meet Bill, see the incredible boats that were, and the America's Cup that were manufactured right here. Please do. Charlie and Maria's talented friend and architect, David Andriozzi, specializes in historically based residential architecture. He is the mastermind behind the details and timeless beauty of their home. I was fortunate to be able to sit down with David in his office, talk about his work, Penn March, and also to get to know what motivates and inspires him. When I first drove in, the first thing that really struck me was well, the, the symmetry, but just that approach in and the soft grasses and that just that bungalow style. It was just, it was just beautiful. So I definitely drew, drew upon um, clamshell driveways of Nantucket and the vineyard and the Cape and that feeling of showing up in your flip-flops and being everybody welcoming down the driveway and it's it's almost like two arms welcoming you, welcoming you to the front door so that was definitely part of the design uh, aesthetic in addition to that thinking about Bristol which has this amazing culture of nautical design I mean the Harrisroft Museum it in itself made the most beautiful boats in the world in the early 1900s and that's still a culture today in Bristol. One of the major things that um, Charlie wanted to do is he wanted to have a house that was expressive of artisan and high quality craftsmanship and materials but he wanted it most importantly to match the neighborhood. So like a, a casual nest that is the bungalow and yet it's so elegant. I want to say there's a heft to the, the architecture in there in terms of the, the hardware, the doors, everything seems really substantial is the word that comes to mind. The office with those doors and the portals, wow, that is impressive woodworking in there. And, and again, I say it again and again, it's you're celebrating craft, you're, cel you're in that room and everything is perfect joinery, perfect veneers, um, and the, the sense of, of being in, a, in your own getaway, your own office, your own place to escape, it really is special. Yeah, no, it was really, um, it was really stunning. And that is drawn upon boat design. Charlie comes from, the, his inner soul is from the sea, it's from boating. Um, and that is really driven in everything that's around him. So that became sort of the first ingredient when you look at the stairway and the newel posts that are uh, inspired by bowsprits of old wooden boats. And the lamps, the, uh, the lights that are in the ceiling that were picked with Maria and ourselves, I mean, everything, everything was chosen to just run off of that nautical theme. I keep saying it again and again, it's, it's a boat. I mean, it's, it's a boat that doesn't get out in the ocean. At least how I see it, an old, beautiful boat. And I guess you have to be in an old, a big, old, beautiful boat to sort of feel that sense of how beautiful that piece of engineering really is. It's a beautiful thing. So really nice to just be able to look at your work and be able to sit and talk with you. Thank you very Thank much. you so much, David. Thank you. Coming up. If I start pedaling. Trust me, it gets more then, fun. Ah! Oh, the bread's going to be great for our dinner party tonight. I think we're ready I, to go. If I could, I would take it all, but I don't think we can. Alas. I don't think we, alas.
innovation, technology, design. It is why the Seaport District is the fastest growing area in Boston. It's also the reason we selected the Innovation District as the home of Seven Tide. If you're looking for a one-of-a-kind experience filled with design inspiration, a place where you can explore, see your ideas come to life, this is the place. Think of Seven Tide as a design adventure for your home, featuring the most trusted top-tier brands in their industries. For homeowners and designers alike, it's a unique approach to home design. You can visit Clark's newest Sub-Zero and Wolf showroom and test kitchen, giving you hands-on access to the world's finest appliances, or take in the country's first experience center for Marvin Windows and Doors. Our goal is to provide inspiration in an exceptional space that offers a relaxed and very personal experience. We don't sell anything here. If you like what you see, we'll refer you to an authorized dealer. But while you're at Seven Tide, there's no pressure. Even the parking is complimentary. We want to cultivate an atmosphere that's free from anxiety so you can focus on what's right for the design of your home. New England has some of the finest designers in the country, and here you'll see an exciting array of their work in full-scale kitchens. You'll be able to see, touch, and even taste your kitchen design. Both inside and out, Seven Tide offers the perfect setting to bring your ideas to life. We want you to rethink what's possible. Adjacent to Clark, you'll find Marvin Windows and Doors. They offer a high-tech, high-touch experience that invites you to reset your expectations for what a home can be. After visiting Marvin, you'll never think about windows and doors the same way again. Whether you're a homeowner or a designer, building a new custom home or remodeling, we invite you to come experience the possibilities. Come be inspired, be informed, and ultimately be at home at Seven Tide. For more information for your home inspiration, visit SevenTide.com. Yours by design. With East Bay Bike Path at the edge of their property, going out for a ride couldn't be more convenient or more beautiful. The 14 and a half mile path starts in Providence and hugs the shore of Narragansett Bay all the way through Independence Park to Colt State Park. Not only did Maria and Charlie think it would be fun to give me a tour of their piece of paradise on bicycle, but Maria had a special treat for me, and it was electric. Her friends over at Pedago Bikes let me borrow an electric bike. You just press that button and now it's active, and there it goes. Maria's had hers for a long time and loves it. Me? It was clearly my first time. If I start pedaling, trust me, it gets more then, fun. Ah! Ah! But what a blast. I know, but this is the best when you're going past the actual bikers and you go <laughs> on your left when you're going up a hill. And you're passing with your oh, yeah. electric and they, bike. And they look at me with my little basket and they're in their, their special specialized, specialized clothing yes. on, on the special carbon fiber bike like Charlie has. Oh, here's the bike pass. We're going to take a little left right here. Up, oh, there's a biker. In the summer, as you can imagine, it's really well traveled. I'm so <laughs> You are killing me. <laughs> Oh, Sorry, Parker, awesome. catch up. Okay, so Parker, yes. we are coming up to Colt State Park. I can't believe how close you guys are to it. That's just yes, so excellent. Originally, the park was the home, and this was all the grounds, of Samuel Pomeroy Colt. Now, Samuel Pomeroy Colt is the nephew, was the nephew, of Samuel Colt of Colt 45 oh. revolver fame. Oh my. We're coming up to, you can just see it over the crest there, a statue. It looks like a man walking. Yes. So that's a statue of John Chafee. And in 1968, he took this land, which had been sitting basically derelict uh, after 1920s. Yeah, and the Colts, exactly. And he lobbied and had it created uh, and had it made into a State Park. What a beautiful thing for the community. Oh, here's a beautiful bridge. All right, so this was the original old walking bridge, and you'll see that there are high pat eye sides on it, and you'll see stone walls around. Um, that's because Samuel Pomeroy Colt also had prize winning Jersey cattle. So, history right here, also, and beauty, and right at your doorstep. Absolutely. That's a great place to live. <laughs> well, should we uh, carry on? I mean, we have to get back. We have a party tonight. Don't forget. We do have a party. You know what we should do? Maybe we should pick up some bread. I have a great <laughs> idea. Who doesn't love bread, right? <laughs> well, your basket is just asking for it. <laughs> and your Parisian French scarf. I'm just Thank thinking you. a yeah. baguette right here. It would be perfect. <laughs> Let's go do it. That sounds good. Okay. I'm loving it. I'm telling you, I may never ride a real bike again. <laughs> After our bike ride, 
Maria and I stopped at the Beehive Pantry, one of her go-to places to pick up some freshly baked bread and visit with her friend and owner, Jen Cavallaro. In this cute little espresso bar, bakery, and pastry shop, there were lots of goodies to behold. Well, we um, opened about 18 months ago, and it's the second location. We have a cafe down in Bristol that got very, very busy and um, became more of a restaurant. So the locals kept saying, we can't get a cup of coffee and just a muffin because it's so busy as a restaurant. So when this location came up, I opened here, and it is really a kind of express beehive where you can come in and get your coffee and your salads and your um, pastries without having to wait. I have to tell you, the best coffee, if you want the best coffee, either go to the beehive uptown or come here. Great dinners. This has been such a great thing to have in our neighborhood uh, to be able to get pastries and bread. The bread's going to be great for our dinner party today. Thank you, Jen. Enjoy. I think we're ready to I, go. If I could, I would take it all, but I don't think we can. Alas. I don't think we, alas. But we'll be back, right? But we'll but you'll be back at least. I'm, thank I'm you. Bye -bye. Thank, thank you, you so much. Bye. 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 Thank okay. you. Coming up. We're doing some really cute potato stacks. Go right ahead with your hands. Just jump in. Pursuit, built to a higher standard. Many try to replicate. Pursuit continues to innovate with cutting edge features and top notch technology. Offshore, center console, dual console, sport coupe, and the sport tender. We have boats from 23 to 38 feet, and once you own one, you will feel the difference. We know you have a choice, and you can put your trust in us to deliver a vessel that will take you where you want to go. Visit your factory authorized dealer today and experience the passion we have built into each and every one of our boats. Visit PursuitBoats.com and explore, experience, enjoy your life in pursuit. So here we are back in Maria's beautiful kitchen. Is this not an amazing kitchen? It's fantastic. And I'm here with Kim Hersom and she is a personal chef for how long have you been doing that? Gosh, I want to say about 15 years. I go to people's homes, I cook for them and uh, cater some parties and my husband and I love to entertain so uh, we're in, in the food and wine business so it's a fantastic way to blend those things together and I also love to teach. You're going to teach me. Yes, I am. And therefore teach everyone. Right. And so what are we cooking for tonight's party? Because I know Maria's excited about it. I'm excited about it. What are we actually cooking? It'll be great. The main course is a porcini rosemary crusted beef tenderloin. Is that what I so? Right? It's so, so good and extremely easy. Yes. And then our side dishes, mm -hmm. which we're going to work on right now while the, the beef is in the oven, we're going to do some um, really cute potato stacks. Um, they're called Palms Anna. Palm, it says apple, palm de terre, apple of the so earth. apple of the earth, ah, yes. That sounds beautiful. So, and Anna invented it apparently. Apparently Anna <laughs> invented it. I love that Anna. <laughs> you gotta love Anna for the potato. So now that you've sliced all of these. Yes. <laughs> and generously add some salt, pepper, thyme, and that beautiful. garlic that you chopped, and then also, um, Put some olive oil in there, okay. toss it around. All right. Go right ahead with your hands, just jump in. It's kind of fun. Something you could even it have is, I, kids I, jump in and yes. play with. 
our very own, All right. right in the oven. We have some baby bellas, which mm -hmm. you find really everywhere, and then we have some mataki, and we have some king trumpet mushrooms, yeah. and some brown beech mushrooms. So we're gonna saute those? Yes, yeah. with some nice. thyme and maybe some delicious, rosemary. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Fantastic, okay. and of course some butter. Yeah. So this is something yeah. you can leave, and then we can move over to start on our other okay. side dish, our right. very healthy cream spinach. <laughs> okay, so leafy green spinach here, heated with a little bit of butter, maybe a tablespoon. And now you can pour a little bit of cream. I'll stir, you pour. Okay, so teamwork. And that's my favorite thing to do. Okay. To share, share in cooking, um, having your friends cook with you. Oh, that looks good. So we are going to do um, a smoked trout pate with some uh, that sounds good. pickled shallots mm -hmm. and um, have them on pumpernickel toast. Okay. And then we're going to move on to a butternut squash bisque with a sage cream. Okay, that sounds beautiful. And Yummy. Oh, um, those colors look like they look well perfect together. Perfect for autumn. So to, to let these sit as long it as is, we it's did. Sort of, it's sort of an intuition and it's all good. They're, they're done. Those they they get that nice little, delicious. almost like crust. Can I just take one? I'm sure it tastes a lot different from oh, when right, it was raw. They are so good. Mm. Oh, yummy. Mm. Yeah. Yes, I but could. We can. There's a couple guests coming. We, and speaking of guests, I'm going to go Be check out the guests. See if I can find Maria. Fantastic. You're all set up here. Right, I'll warm up the plates okay. and just let me know when everyone's ready. And I we'll will. I'll be back. Enjoy. Okay. All right. Thanks. All right. As the sun starts to set and guests begin to arrive, Kim has it all under control, affording me the opportunity to pop in and out of the kitchen to mingle. Oh. <laughs> How we do it in Bristol. Yeah. <laughs> I love how you do it in Bristol. Honest, goodness, goodness, cheers. Oh wow. Kim, well done. Fantastic. So good. But it's all about beautiful, incredible setting, lovely town, beautiful friends, delicious food. This is New England Living in Bristol. Until next week, I'm Parker Kelly. Cheers. 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 New England Living is brought to you by Clark, Sub-Zero, and Wolf, and Kohler Signature Store by Supply New England. And of course, please stop into the all-new Seven Tide in the Seaport District in Boston.